everybody, it's Stephen Brook and welcome to my YouTube channel on architectural photography and composition. Proportional systems have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years and they've been used by great masters for paintings, engravings, murals, and they're extremely important for us in architectural photography. And Photoshop has something that will help you develop your eye for proportional systems that you can use out in the field. So let's look at Photoshop's grids and guides and see how they can help us to practice seeing proportional systems. And why are these so important? Because proportional systems provide order and stability to your compositions. And everybody uses them. Let's look at one of the drawings of Claude Lorraine, a study for his seaport. And you can see here how Claude Lorraine is already using these uh, rectangular armatures to subdivide his picture plane before he even starts to draw. Hugh Ferris uses a two by three proportional system in his drawing, which helps define the various areas and also determines the sight lines for his perspective points. So how do we do that? You go to Photoshop preferences and go to grids and guides. And down here in grid, I have, for this case, I have a grid every 20% and one subdivision. I've made it red so that I can really see it. And I've done a hard line again to make it easy to see. And then I click OK. And then if you go to command or control and the apostrophe, you have a grid that you can use when you're looking at your photograph, trying to decide how you might want to crop it. This is a wonderful tool to use. So let's see how I've done a couple of these. This is a very simple composition. This is the Hermitage. And this is the rule of thirds, 33 and a third percent, which every camera club will teach students how to do. But note here, instead of putting the very middle of this tempietto in the center of the composition, which would make it static, I have moved it over a third of the way so that one third of the picture is divided by from here to the top of the temple and two thirds from here to the top of the temple. Notice also one third of the way up subdivides basically the, the ground plane from the top and here another third of the way up defines the very top of the temple. The question is, th these are not etched on my view camera and they're not etched on my regular camera. These are, I've trained myself to see these. Here's another one, this is out at FAU. Again, this is rule of thirds and the, the one third demarcations determine the location of the tree, determine the end of the building, and basically determine two thirds for the building, one third for the sky. Now that's fine for really simple compositions, but what about more difficult ones? Here is a view on axis, and it's okay to put the center of this building right in the middle, and we will see in another video why we don't want to do that. But if we're shooting off axis, what we don't want to do is to put the corner of the building in the middle of the frame. Because what that does is basically splits the picture in half. Your eye goes this way and your eye goes that way. And again, if we're converting three dimensions into two and want to create a sense of depth, putting the center, the corner of the building right in the middle flattens out the picture and makes it much more static. Here's an example of Vernon Court. This is a building shot off axis. And if you can't put the corner in the middle, where do you put it? Well, a proportional system will give you an indication of where it could go best. This is a two by three composition, two thirds of the way in, two fifths of the way in, that's the corner of the building. One fifth of the way in, that's the other corner of the building. Basically, three fifths, to two-fifths determine the body of the building and the sky and also the various corners. So using this proportion system basically sets all the verticals and horizontals. And again, if you're looking at it with grids and guides, if you use control apostrophe or command apostrophe, it can give you an indication of where you might crop your picture to get it into this ideal format. So remember, Grids and guides toggle on and off to give you a hand in composing your, your composition using proportional systems that give your, your photograph a sense of order.